asteroids, meteors, and comets. Asteroids Asteroids are small bodies that are believed to be left over from the beginning of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. They are rocky objects with round or irregular shapes up to several hundred kilometers across, but most are much smaller. More than one lakh asteroids lie in a belt between Mars and Jupiter. These asteroids lie in a location in the solar system where there seems to be a jump in the spacing between the planets. Scientists think that this debris may be the remains of an early planet, which broke up early in the solar system. Several thousand of the largest asteroids in this belt have been given names. The chances of an asteroid colliding with Earth are very small, but some do come close to Earth, like Hermes. Meteors Meteors are streaks of light, usually lasting just a few seconds, which people occasionally see in the night sky. They are sometimes called shooting stars or falling stars, though they are not stars at all. Meteors are caused by the entry of small pieces of rock, dust or metal from space into the atmosphere at extremely high speeds. These particles called meteoroids, when they are floating around in space, are traveling at incredible speeds of tens of kilometers per second when they streak into the atmosphere. The incredible pressure meteoroids experience when they collide with Earth's atmosphere shatters them, transferring energy to atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, which then release the energy by glowing. This glow produces the bright trails of light in the sky we see as meteors. Most meteoroid particles are quite small, ranging in size from a grain of sand to a pea-sized pebble. Almost all of them disintegrate in the atmosphere long before reaching the ground. Very rarely, a larger meteoroid actually survives to strike the ground, creating a meteor crater in a huge explosion. This explosion often vaporizes whatever solid material is left on the meteoroid after its fiery flight through the atmosphere. Sometimes, however, pieces of the meteoroid survive and are found in the crater or nearby. These chunks of rock or metal are called meteorites. Meteors are not the same thing as comets. Meteors appear briefly as they streak through the sky. Comets are much larger objects that are actually still out in space. Several times each year, Earth passes across the orbit of a comet where dust and small bits of rock from the comet have been left behind. When this happens, we can see many meteors in a single night. Sometimes as many as 100 or more per hour. These events are called meteor showers. Comets not long ago, many people thought that comets were a sign that something bad was about to happen to them. People didn't understand how objects in the sky moved, so the sight of a comet must have been very disturbing. There are many historical records and works of art which record the appearance of comets and link them with terrible events such as wars or plagues. Now, we know that comets are lumps of ice and dust that periodically come into the center of the solar system from somewhere in its outer reaches and that some comets make repeated trips. When comets get close enough to the sun, heat makes them start to evaporate. Jets of gas and dust form long tails that we can see from Earth. These tails can sometimes be millions of miles long. In 1985-86, a spacecraft called Giotto visited the most famous comet Halley on Halley's most recent visit to the inner solar system. In 1994, comet Shoemaker Livy became trapped by the gravity of Jupiter and plunged into Jupiter's atmosphere. In 1996 and 97, we saw comet Hyakute and comet Halley Bob. Halley Bob was one of the brightest comets ever seen from Earth. 
comet Linear was discovered in 1999 and made its closest approach of the Sun in July 2000. The Stardust spacecraft flew by Comet Wild 2 in January 2004, collecting samples of the comet to return to Earth. 